cuts you just saw make this three-piece assembly. When put together, it makes a tool presetter. This tool presetter, combined with the Tornos machine interface, can help save you a bunch of time when setting up your Swiss machine. And we're bringing this all to you today on the DT26. I'm super excited, guys. Let's get into this. I'd hate to see you miss it. So this tool is super easy to use. All you have to do is slap it on your holder, move the stylus to the tip of your tool and tighten down the set screw. Now that we have our tool setter locked in place, let's measure our offset with this Minatoyo depth gauge. Oh, and by the way guys, you know, you can find Minatoyo products, tooling, and a bunch of other goodies if you go onto our store right now at TitansofCNCTooling.com. All right, let's put our offset in the machine. So this screen here is called the TMI, which by the way stands for Tornos Machine Interface. Not what you were thinking. On the TMI, we can go down to our tools manager. We can select it, and go over and we can see all of our different fixturing points. These fixturing points are where all the holders are in your machine. And you select which holders in which station. If I go down to the one we're working on, which is 53, I can then enter my offset there. So I'm gonna take the number that I got off my Minatoyo caliper here, I'm gonna select that holder, and I'm gonna enter it. So one important thing to note here, guys, is that the number on the screen matches the number on your holder. Now you'll notice every holder in here has a number on it, and it's really important you get that matched up accordingly in your TMI screen because you could touch off every single tool on the machine this way, which is super convenient. No moving the machine around, no taking test cuts, none of that. Just slap your holder on there, get a measurement, and you're good to go. So now that I've shown you how to use this tool and how it works on a Tornos machine, let's go over the processes real quick and how I made it. To make it easy on myself, I used half inch stock and half inch collets on everything. Same collet, same size on every single part. With the two brass parts, I did all my OD work on the main spindle with the Kenna Metal KM Micro Series, which by the way, I super recommend. It is a very, very convenient thing to have in your machine. Makes changing the inserts way easier. After that, I transferred to my sub spindle and did the engraving on the screw or on the longer part, I did the drill and the bore. So the aluminum stylus was also pretty simple. I milled, drilled, and chamfered everything on the main spindle, transferred on my sub spindle, where I drilled and tapped the hole in the back. <laughs> 
All right, so that does it for our video today, guys. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking that you can't use this tool unless you have a Tornos machine, and that's simply not true. You can set this to the length of your ID tools on your ID station and use it as a hard stop to slide your tools out to. Now, on another note, I need to talk to you about something. When we look at our analytics, we see that 80% of you aren't subscribed. Now, when you subscribe to our channel, it helps support free education. It lets us know we're doing a good job, and it lets YouTube know we're doing a good job. So do it. Do it now. What are you waiting for? You have like two minutes. Do it now. Seriously, the whole world is going to explode. Ah! Hey, Mom. I got your cake. It is, uh, it is super good. You know, I see you comment on all my videos telling me how proud you are of me. And I got to say, as your son, I am so happy that I can make you proud, Mom. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs>